Paso Rock on Fire, Tunubu under serious attack. As West African defense chief stomp Abuja, Nigerians. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Amidst growing concerns over the recent coup in Niger, the defense chiefs representing the member nations of the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS are gearing up for a significant two-day meeting to address the unfolding crisis. This pivotal gathering is set to take place in the vibrant city of Abuja, Nigeria where leaders from across the region will come together to deliberate on the escalating situation in Niger. In response to the military coup that has shaken the democratic foundations of Niger, ECOWAS leaders have swiftly taken actions by imposing economic sanctions on the country. Additionally, they have issued a stem or timantum warning that if the junta does not promptly Reinstate President Mahmoud Bazoum within a strict timeline of one week. The coalition may resort to use of force as a last resort. This unprecedented stance re reflects the gravity of the situation and underlines the regional bloc's unwavering commitment to uphold democratic norms and constitutional order in West Africa. In the face of ECOWAS' strong warning, the junta in Niger has issued its own cautionary message, urging regional and western powers to refrain from any act of aggression. This singles the junta's resolute stance and its desires to safeguard its newly acquired position of power despite the growing international pressure and condition it faces. The aftermath of the coup has seen significant public demonstrations and unrest within Niger itself. In the nation's capital, Niamey, hundreds of coups supporters took to the streets, convening outside the French embassy to express their solidarity with the junta. These demonstrations highlight the complex interplay of democratic, democratic demo, and international factors at play in the aftermath of political upwavering. With the situation in Niger rapidly enveloping ECOWAS leaders have taken a definite stand on the matter. They have clearly reiterated their commitment to zero tolerance for coups in the region and vowed to employ all necessary measures, including military intervention, to restore democratic governance if their demands for President Bazoum's reinstatement are not met. This unprecedented move marks a significant turning point in the region's approach to combating political instability and others cause the region's determination to preserve democratic institutions. During the high-level meeting in Abuja, the special representatives and head of the United Nations Office for West Africa and the Shehe played a crucial role in emphasizing Niger's pivotal role in the regional fight against terrorism. This serves as a stark reminder of the border implications of the political crisis, as any instability in Niger could have far-reaching consequences for the entire region's security lands landscape. Despite the mounting international pressure, the military junta has shown no inclination towards engaging in official negotiations with ECOWAS. However, diplomatic efforts have not won as President Mahamat Idris Deby of Chad has embarked on a visit to Nahami, 
to personally employ the junta to see power in the interests of regional stability and democratic principles. To further increase the pressure on the junta and signal the seriousness of their intent, the West African leaders have imposed a no-fly zone over Niger and closed all the borders with the country. Moreover, they have implemented stringent financial sanctions on the junta aiming to cripple its economic capacity and consolidate their position in condemning the coup. Amidst these develop developments, these are growing concerns that Niger may seek to align itself with Russia, mirroring the path taken by Bukhani Buk Faso and Mali after their respective coups. This potential shift is geopolitical alliances as manifested in some of the protesters outside the French embassy in Niami expressing vocal support for Russia and displaying hostility towards France. This delicate situation further aids to the complicities of the ongoing crisis as it could personally have far-reaching implications on the regional balance of power and influence. In response to the development in Niger, France, uh, France as a key international player in the region has issued a firm warning, making it clear that any attack on its interest in Niger will not be tolerated. France has singled its preparedness to respond with force should its interests or citizens come under threat further intensifying the stakes in the unfolding crisis. As the situation in Niger continues to involve the regional and international actors are closely monitoring the development and response from both the junta and the international community. The path ahead remains uncertain and the potential for further escalations looms large. The outcome of this crisis will undoubtedly have profound implications for the political landscape of West Africa and will shape the region's standing in the global community for years to come. As the international community unites in condemning the coup and supporting democratic principles, the situation in Niger remains fluid, requiring a delicate approach to achieve a peaceful resolution. The way our African leaders, West African leaders, are really giant to this uh, uh, Niger's issue. Made and still user, eh? Made and still user talk about development in their countries. Because this is what is bringing all this coup. If a government is doing well, nobody will, you know, want to overthrow the government. So they should watch this. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.